Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you on this Tuesday morning? It is the 19th day of December, six days away from Christmas. Dense fog out here this morning at 10 minutes till 4 as I make this video. I'm laughing because I would hate to be me right now. My job is to try to convey to you a very complicated forecast for the next six days, made worse by the fact that the two global models are in disagreement on the details and even more disagreement on the timing. So I have to mitigate some sort of forecast for you, and I'm going to do that. Now, they have agreed on one important factor. The cold air apparently will reach us by Christmas Day. So if you've got a couple of minutes, you've known me for a long time, uh, and you've watched a lot of forecasts, let me try to walk you through the details. And first of all, let's talk some fog. Once again this morning, dense fog advisory covering all of Alabama and adjacent states with visibility down below a quarter of a mile in spots till 9 o'clock this morning, so it's going to be a tough commute. And at noon today, look where the front is, way back in Texas, that low-pressure area, not too far from El Paso, moving on eastward. So showers and thunderstorms today, the bulk of it, will be west of us. You see that across Arkansas and Texas, but... Along the warm front today, we could see a few showers, maybe a thunder shower. So we've got uh, at least the mention of a shower in the forecast for today. So here's the way it boils down. The fog this morning, a cloudy day, slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm during the day. High 67 tonight, so those 63, very mild, very spring-like in December. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Midnight tonight, this is the GFS showing showers and strong storms around Memphis and the north Mississippi moving towards north Alabama at midnight. And I think in the overnight hours, strong storms come into the state. This is Wednesday morning at 6 a.m., and we could see a squall line moving in through Alabama. And the Storm Prediction Center says some of the storms could be severe with damaging wind gusts. Can't rule out a brief tornado or two, generally from Montgomery on northward. So we'll be dealing with that tomorrow morning and through midday before the, uh, the front moves on eastward. Here's 6 p.m. Wednesday night. The front has moved into the Georgia and the Carolinas. A couple of showers back behind it, then we dry out. Thursday still looks like the best day of the week, the pick of the litter with sunshine and spring-like temperatures in the upper 60s, a great day. It's also the day that winter officially begins, the winter solstice at 1028 a.m. Central Standard Time. So Thursday's a good day. Friday night, more showers and storms coming in. This is the GFS. It's the fastest of the models. It shows the front come cutting across north central Alabama at midnight on Friday night. But the European is about, you know, 6 to 12 hours behind. It's got the front way back at uh, Memphis at that hour. So what do you do? You compromise. Here's Saturday noon on the GFS, uh, on the Euro European, I should say, showing showers and thunderstorms crossing the state. Could those storms be severe with this front? Certainly it's a possibility. We'll be watching that. At noon Sunday, it shows the front still in, in the state, uh, meeting resistance and slowing down and almost stalling. Then at midnight on Christmas Eve, the, again, the European showing the front has gone through. A few showers lag back behind it, and the colder air is finally coming in. So that would mean Christmas Day would be a windy, much colder day, chance of a shower early, and uh, it looks like most of the day would be dry based on, on that scenario. So we've got a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, Wednesday. The nice day, Thursday, with highs in the uh, mid to upper 60s. Friday, 69, with maybe some showers by Friday night, maybe some strong storms Friday night into Saturday with the front, and then uh, 62 for a high on Sunday with showers remaining. Then Christmas Day forecast, I've tweaked it. I've got the high around 48. This will change, but this is what I have right now. Falling dur during the day, 27 on Christmas night, partly cloudy, breezy. This is the GFS out 16 days, confirming the fact that the cold air arrives on Christmas Day. And look at Christmas week. Wow, that is cold air. And if a little disturbance came along with that cold air, well, you know what could happen. So we'll, uh, we'll watch it. By the way, I will admit that the GFS tries to um, paint some uh, winter mischief later on Christmas week. But forget about that. Not, we're not even going to think about that or talk about that. Let's get through Christmas first, okay? Okay. All right, have a great day today. I'll have a lot more information for you on our video tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. We'll know a lot more, and we'll be able to tweak the forecast for you. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on Neastalk 93.1. Greg is gone, but Jay and Emily and I and Bailey the Wonder Dog will be uh, on the air uh, holding down the fort. Have a good day today, and I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.